Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Two Dottles. It's time for a Thursday review. I will be reviewing some of the newer um, line brand yarns today. But first I'd like to say welcome new subscribers and welcome back subscribers. I'm happy to have you here in my maker shenanigans. I do like to do the fabric things and the yarny things and the DIY things. So you will see a little bit of all of that here on this channel. And so I consider it a maker channel. If you like to make things, you might like being here. So, um, so I bought a bunch of newer yarns or yarns I haven't tried before from Line Brand. They came out with a lot of new yarns this year. There's still some that they have popped up on the website now that I am waiting for a good sale on to get as well um, to try out. So what I do, I've done this before. I did it last year for some yarns that I just haven't tried before. I do a knit swatch and a crochet swatch based on the recommended hook or needle size given on the label. And their swatch is a four by four swatch. So it gives you recommended number of stitches and rows to do to get the four by four swatch. So I do that and see what my gauge is to see if I am accurate in using that hook or needle or if I need to use something different to get to the gauge I want to with that yarn, right? Um, typically, I am an average crocheter. I know that. I don't tend to crochet too loosely or too tightly unless I'm tired and then if I'm getting, things are getting too tight or weird, I, I have to stop because my gauge will be off. Um, knitting, I'm getting better at knitting. So I... I would think I'm about an average knitter as well. I don't tend to, because you can't get your needle through if you do it too tight. <laughs> I know that. If I've gotten my stitches, my starting stitches too tight, um, my cast on too tight. So I've learned to not do that so tightly. So um, I will say that I think I hit gauge on one of these swatches. So I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the type of yarn. That these are these are some different fibers some of these so i don't know let's see mm. i am having me some coffee this afternoon hit me with this with the best pot hit me with your best pot i'll say it right in a minute mm. i didn't have my afternoon class today so unexpected time good to record this video for thursday which is when y'all will see it but in my, tuto my tutorial Tuesday, I have started recording it. It's taking me longer than I thought uh, crocheting over the fat yarn over the basket, which I had talked about doing before. Um, so I'm going to start calling that T-Doddles Tutorials instead of Tutorials Tuesday because I can't seem to get it out on Tuesday. So it is still coming. It's just taking me a little bit longer to get that everything recorded and stuff so anywho let's move on to the swatches okay so the very first one i have uh so just so y'all know i do put i don't know if i can all right come over here yarn i usually pull from the center to do my crochet swatch and then i do my <laughs> these are all my uh <laughs> knitting swatches i put them on a long cable with just the end caps so I can keep it connected to the, the yarn, uh, the, the skein, uh, so that um, I don't I don't cut it off. I don't wash it, um, which it depends on the yarn. It, I usually hand wash anything that I would crochet or knit. I don't uh, put it in the washer and dry. I just don't do that. But I know some people like to do that. One thing I put in the washer and dryer that I hand that I crochet or dish cloths. So, <laughs> all right. So the first one on, well, this is the last one I did, but it's the first one on my little row here. Uh, is this Mandela Fluffy? Okay. The label is kind of funky because I took it off to get the other end of the yarn. All right, so when I first saw this online, I thought that's going to be a nightmare because I did test the Turnstiles yarn. I did not like that yarn. It's like crocheting with felted yarn it, or working with felted yarn. It was not fun to work with. It stuck to itself horribly. 
So I thought this is going to be like that. But I love mandalas, so I decided to try it. When I first got it, I, it was much softer, first of all, than the Turnstiles yarn. Okay. This is Butterfly Fish. The, the colors in this yarn are named after fish. I really love the colors. It's considered a number seven jumbo, which that's because it's so fuzzy. Because the, the, the core of it is not that thick. But if you crochet too tightly with this, you're going to have major issues. Okay, so that's why they call it a number seven. This is a three and a half ounce skein. 76 yards is all you get on here. It is acrylic. Premium acrylic. Um, this does suggest to hand wash and lay flat to dry, which I would definitely do with something like this because of the fuzziness to it. So, let's look at my crochet swatch first. It recommended a Q19 or a 15 millimeter crochet hook. And you were only supposed to do five, five uh, single crochet and six rows of single crochet. So here is my swatch. Um, I think you can tell by the swatch that it is not a square. I do like the color changes in it though. Um, this swatch turned out to be a three by four and a half. So it was an inch shorter than it was recommended and a an half an inch taller. So I don't know. And you can, a Q hook is a big hook, so it's not like I was, you can't crochet tightly with this because it's not going to be fun to do with. It was not horrible to crochet with, okay? I, I didn't mind crocheting with it. Um, it's kind of like very fuzzy uh, homespun. <laughs> uh, that's what I would, I, I equate it to because it has that line that runs down the middle that's sort of twisted, but it's fluffier. Okay, it's not extremely soft, but it's nice enough. Um, I could wear, it'd be quite warm, but I could wear something around my neck with this. So, all right, so the gauge was way off on this. I don't know how I would correct that, correct that, other than the fact that my cue hook is a big plastic hook. It's not very comfortable to crochet with for me personally. So that maybe that's got something to do with it. I don't know. But now, this is the part where I, we're going to see how easily this pulls out. Okay? So, it pulls out pretty good to be such a fuzzy yarn. Um, I can feel it catching a little bit, but not much. Okay? So, since you use such a big hook with this, that's why I said don't be tempted to use a smaller hook just because it looks thinner in spots. Use that bigger hook. It's going to be much easier to work with because it's so fuzzy. Um, and it pulls out just fine. It's not really... You see, that just pulled right on out. No problems at all. Um, this is... Okay, we're going to talk about in a minute whether I'd rather knit or crochet with this. So we can see the crochet swatch was way off. And I'm not real sure what happened with that. Like I said, all of these were off, so that was odd, except for the very first one I did. So, here is my knit swatch. I got my little loops up at the top. I just took it off the cable. You can see how much smaller that is. I do love that color change that happened. My knit swatch turned out to be three by three and a half is all. And that's three by three and a half. So, I did not enjoy knitting with this at all, okay? I did use metal needles. I used on this, hmm, because you have to use a size 17 or 13 millimeter, okay? And I just got, um, who is that by? I have a jumbo set of needles with cables that I got off of Amazon that had a size that I needed, okay? Because that's a big needle. Um, this was not fun to knit because even though those needles are not super sharp, they have a, a pointed end, but they're not super pointed like Hayahayas or something. 
uh, this it, the, it sticks in the yarn te terribly with the hooks I mean with the needle so and plus you can't really see that uh, the knit pattern that was what what I like about a knit knitting is the the different pattern you get you can't even you can't really see that yeah it is uh, it does make it not quite so thick this is thick yarn knitting which is typical for any yarn uh, and maybe not as holy but I didn't like knitting with it at all okay so but it'll pull out just as easily even though it's fuzzy like that it doesn't get hung up like you might think it would okay so for me the gauge was way off on this one I would prefer to crochet with it so it's not horrible I thought it was gonna be a nightmare to work with when I first saw it online because it reminded me of the turnstiles yarn which I did not like at all but I actually like this for crochet I would not knit with this personally because I don't like the way it, it was it was difficult to knit with to me personally okay so there's our first one mandala fluffy like I said it comes in a bunch of colors it's not a huge amount of colors I think there's like five or six colors and they're all named after fish and that one's called a butterfly fish okay so next we have which I did like this yarn this is called dream maker dream maker this is the colorway flutter um, it's a number five bulky weight three and a half ounces 109 yards this is a 74% acrylic and 26% nylon this is a very stretchy yarn okay very stretchy because it has all that nylon in it you see that <laughs> So, something to take into consideration when you use this because it stretches a lot. And if you crochet tightly, that could be a good thing, but it can also make things draw up much more than usual because it's so stretchy. So, here is my crochet swatch. Um, there's no pooling in this really, but you can see in this swatch, which you can also see is not square. You can see the colors green going diagonally and then pink and then the blue and the purple so you can see that my swatch three and a half by four and a half so uh, yeah did not get gauge on that one either half inch off either way but this makes a very stretchy piece of fabric you see that in both directions only thing that keeps it from stretching so much well it still stretches a lot this is a super stretchy fabric that it makes so this is something to take into account when you use this yarn um i'm not quite sure what i would use this i mean you could make you could make a cardigan out of it it would be very stretchy but it would be very comfortable i think it's very nice to work with it just glides off the hook okay um i've quite enjoyed working with this yarn um yeah so it's i don't think they have any recommended patterns for these most of these didn't have recommended patterns it said t coming coming soon so um i don't know what i mean you could definitely make baskets out of this for sure um i think it is I don't remember how much it is I guess I should have written that down but I don't remember how much these are regular price but I'll try to uh, list it down below what the regular price is on everything at because most of these you can only find at my uh, at linebrand.com right right now well the fluffy I have seen on Joann's and one other one I have seen on Joann's so this one I've only seen on linebrand.com so um and on Joann's I think it's only online so let's just see this just pulls right on out y'all this is super easy to come out I'm not gonna pull all that out but yeah this just pops right on out um but something you will notice since I've taken it out see how there's little creases in there 
a lot of yarns do that, but this one does it a lot because it has all that stretch in it. But it still has its stretch. So it seems to have pretty good recovery, which is something important when you have things that stretch. And you, especially if you're going to make a garment out of it, you don't want things that don't have good recovery. And that means that it snaps back to a regular form when you let it go. That's good recovery. Like you can stretch it and it snaps back. It doesn't lose its shape and get all wonkly when you stretch on it. Because there are some fabrics that are stretchy, but if you stretch it a lot, it's going to leave it wumply. That's not a real word, but you know. You know what I mean. So, here is my knit swatch. I gotta turn this over so I can pull up a little more. Here we go. Now this one, something, it was interesting the way the colors did in the knit. You see how it kind of repeated itself in a pattern? You can kind of see how it did it. And I wonder how it would work up in a garment. It looks different than a crochet, which typically stuff like this does. But let's look at them side by side. So, if I can hold it where y'all can see it. Yeah. So, with this one, you get a more linear pattern repeat. Whereas the crochet is a diagonal color repeat more so of course that's going to change if when you make a bigger something bigger but um that's that's the pattern pattern patterning i noticed with this yarn this does not want to say you get more linear repeats with the knit more of a diagonal repeat with the crochet so i did use bamboo needles with this because i realized right away when i tried to put it on my metal needles this is way too slick for metal needles for me personally um, it was much easier to work with on bamboo needles, okay? Um, it gives you a little more grip because this is a, a slidey, slidey yarn. It's not as slidey as some of the ones I've worked with, but it was slidey enough that when I put that first loop on my needle, my metal needle, I said, no, this is not going to work. So I got my, my uh, bamboo ones out. So um, most of these I used um, the sets I got from Blueprint. They are, hmm, I can't think of it. I have a bamboo interchangeable set and a metal interchangeable set I got from Blueprint. It is their brand. Oh, I can't think of what they call them, but I got them when they had one of their super deals, and I love those. So they're interchangeable. Uh, they work really well for me, both sets. That's the first time I've actually used the bamboo ones but I really liked it. They gave me much more grip in this, made it much easier to do the stitches. And they didn't, it wasn't like catching or anything. They're very smooth, so. so. There is the knit swatch. Oh, and my knit swatch was three and a half by three, so it was a, quite a bit smaller than what it was supposed to be. And it pulls out, y'all, yeah, this pulls out so easily. So, I will deal with winding that stuff back up off camera. All right, so. The next one I got for y'all is Twisted Cotton Blend. There's the Twisted. This is navy. Navy slash ecru. Alright, so something to note about this yarn. It is a thick and thin yarn. Okay? You can see the bumps and then straight and then bump. But it's a fairly even a repeat on the bump pattern. You see that? It's not, I'm not going to say it's completely even, but you can see a repeat in the bump pattern on the yarn, if that makes any sense. The thick and thin of the yarn. Um, it has a really nice texture to it. It's actually fairly soft for what it is. It's 69% cotton and 31% acrylic. Three and a half ounces and there's only 98 yards on here. It is considered a number five and that's because of the the, the thick and thin of it okay now even the thick portion doesn't look like a number five to me but when you because cotton doesn't have as much give so that doesn't stretch very much at all compared to that other yarn we just looked at um that's why you need the the bigger hook sizes and things so for the crochet hook okay here's my crochet swatch right here all right i love this marled pattern it's very pretty 
I got four by four and a half. So this was almost a gauge, a little bit tall, but there we go. And then um, it said a K 10.5 or a 6.5 millimeter hook. And I did use the size it recommended for all of these, okay? I didn't use a different size. So there is my swatch. This has a good, I think this would be really good for washcloths, honestly, because it's got such a good texture when you crochet with it. And it has that, it's not completely a 100% cotton. It has that acrylic in it. So that, you know, if you do with the uh, little scrubby stuff or something, it gives it a little more scrub to it. So I wouldn't recommend it for like a face cloth, but like a, a dish cloth or hot pads, or I could see even making a basket out of this. It's just got a nice texture. They have a scarf pattern recommended on it. I just feel, especially in the crochet, that's gonna be a heavy, it's gonna be a heavy scarf. <laughs> Personally, that's what I think. So, all right, let's see how eh, it pulls out in the crochet. So it pulls out, Pretty easy, no tangles. Um, you can hear it catching on the little knots is all, okay? So I will say if you're a tight crocheter and you find that you're having trouble because, see the space in between there? It's because of the hook size we used, but that's needed to get over those bumps, okay? So, pulls out really nicely. Um, let's take a look at the knit swatch. Now the knit swatch is three by four. So it was almost, I almost hit gauge with this, but it was one inch shy in the width. I don't think that's right. No, this is a four by four. I don't know why I wrote down three by four. So this one's pretty much gauge, but it looks really nice too. And the great thing about this yarn, I got some of my crochet look. There's not much difference in how it looks in crochet or knit, right? Because it's hard to see the stitches. You're definitely going to get a, a lighter, more flexible fabric with the knit, but that's just the nature of knit versus crochet. So um, if you did want to make a scarf, I suggest knitting it because crocheting it would be too heavy, I feel. Uh, versus knitting unless you did some kind of lacy pattern which would really get lost in this type of yarn so that would be kind of pointless um so i still say this is would be great for dish towels and dishcloths and baskets and uh or even market bags it would make a really nice market bag um i can't see me making a garment out of it if i knit it i maybe could see making something maybe a tank top I knit it, but yeah. So this did require a, what you call it? A 10 or six millimeter hook, okay? And we'll do the pullout test and comes out just as easily with the knit. Well, oh, I got a little snag. And all that is, is a bump. Really, if, you, if it hangs up like that, it's just a bump got stuck in the loop. So it's not really hanging up or tangling up. So, all right, I got two more for you. So the next one is softball. That's what it's called. It's called softball. Got this nice color. It's called Eagles. So I'm guessing that all these color names are my softball teams. I don't know. I don't watch softball, but I liked this color. So this has a twist, very similar to Homespun, not quite as fuzzy as Homespun. You can see the way the twist is. Uh, on it. Uh, this is a 100% polyester. So this is a soft, soft yarn. Although I will say for a polyester, it has some tooth to it, if that makes sense. It's not completely soft like some of those uh, very soft, super soft. Um, it has some tooth to it, some bite. This is considered a number five, which I don't know that I'd agree with that because it's not furry enough for me to, I wouldn't, uh, maybe a heavier number four. I don't know. I just don't feel like that's number five, personally, even working with it. But this is only three and a half ounces and 83 yards. Um, 
It is machine washable and dryable. It says two will make a hat, three will make a scarf. Uh, so on my crochet, this is the other reason I think that it's that's it shouldn't be bulky because it called for a N13 or nine millimeter hook. Okay, so this is a four and a half by five. That's how big my swatch is with using that size hook. I mean, it's not super holy using that hook or anything. Um, I feel like I could probably go down a hook size with this one for sure. Um, the only thing you can uh, watch for is that, and I didn't really, I don't really think it happened with the crochet, is that little piece of thread that runs through it, uh, it can get caught. But I think that happened with my knitting, not with my crochet. So there is the crochet swatch and like I said it got way bigger than it needed to be and there we go just pull it right out I mean that's polyester this thing all the hang up probably so now let's take a look at the knit swatch now you can see in here I didn't like knit with this image. You can see I got little places in here. It's not a very smooth knit pattern. And it may just be me needing some more practice with... I'm getting pretty good at the knit and purl, y'all, okay? I'm getting pretty good at it. So, it the needle sometimes will get hung up in that little thread that runs around it. And maybe I should have used more blunt end needles. I don't feel like I needed a bamboo needle versus a metal Cause like I said, this has got some bite to it. It's not like super slick. Um, but my, this was four by three and a half. So this was almost at gauge with that. But I don't like the way it did. It doesn't give, and that could just be me, like I said. But I don't, I didn't like knitting with this personally. Um, I just, it, it seemed like it got hung up a lot when I was knitting with it. So, and it called for a, see, it only calls for a, calls for a 10 or a 6 millimeter knitting needle, but it calls for a 9 millimeter crochet hook. So, usually they're closer in size than that. So, that was a little weird. Um, yeah, it pulls out really easy for that. Now, yeah. So the, I forgot to say about the cotton blend. Knitting with it, it wasn't bad. Now, what you have to do when you're knitting with it, you have to take an account that you got those bumps coming under it when you do that first cast on so that you um can pull it through, right? So you got to do a little bit looser cast on than you might be used to doing just to make sure you can pull through the stitches. And then it went fine after I did that with the, the knitting for the cotton blend. I wanted to say that. So, all right. So... I've got one more called Cobblestone. I really liked this yarn as well. Um, cobblestone is what it's called. This is the Monarch Colorway, which is an orange and white twisted yarn. Um, it's a number four, which I would agree with. It's on the lighter end of a number four. Uh, three and a half ounces, 219 yards, 100% acrylic, acrylic, so machine washable, all of that. So, it's it's fairly soft. Um, you do get that little bit of texture in it because of the twist, but it's a fairly nice yarn. It's, it's a very squishy yarn because of the twist. Um, you can see that it has more flex to it, I guess than others okay so my crochet swatch if I can get it untangled was four by four so I got gauge on this one um, this is a nice marled pattern yarn uh, it just makes it kind of look heathered when you crochet with it or tweeted um, the fabric is not it's not awful, but it's um, it's not the softest acrylic either. I like the colors of it. 
Um, it was fine to crochet with. The only issue I had, and I actually crocheted from the round, pulling from the outside on this. So it was pulling from the inside, and I'll show you in just a minute. It seemed to be uh, coiling in on itself when I pulled from the center pull versus the exterior pull, which is what this is. So let's just give it a quick pull test. Yeah, it comes out pretty easy. I didn't have any troubles uh, going between the twists or anything like that. Um, I didn't have any problems with that. So now here is my knit swatch, um, which I really like. And this is another yarn that you don't really see the difference. You know, some of them, the color pulls differently, depending on what you do. Uh, this one looks pretty good. I got a little ridge going on right there. Uh, that's just my tension. But this is a four by four and a half. So this is pretty much on gauge as well. Definitely get a much stretchier fabric with knit. But, so I, want, I don't know if y'all will be able to see that. But if you look... As much as a focus, you can see how much twisted the twist it looks different on this than this, the one on top. This is center pull. And uh what I had trouble with is when I was working with it, it was wanting to coil back on itself. Like like that right there. When I did center pull, and I think it has something to do with the twist. So this is a yarn you may not want to do center pull with, um, because of that. And it's probably just because of the twist and the way it was put on this, put into the skein. It made that twist different at the end. And that'll probably uh, work better if you start from the outside and go in. Um, so, something to think about with that yarn. So, we'll do a pull out on the knit. Comes out just fine. No issues. So, there are my five yarns for review today. Um, we had... Mandela Fluffy and Butterfly Fish, uh, Dream Maker and Flutter, Twisted Cotton Blend and Navy. And all of these all have that, it says Navy Ecru, all of them have that Ecru in another color. Um, Softball and Eagles. Softball. My light's glaring on it. And Eagles and Cobblestone and Monarch. Cobblestone. Monarch. So. I have to say that none of these were terrible yarns. Like I said. Quick re recap. Uh, Demandula Fluffy. I do not want to knit with it. It gets caught up in the needle ends very easily. Uh, crocheting with it wasn't very bad, actually, and it pulls out quite easily. So it's not as horrible as I thought when I saw it because, you know, that reminded me so much of that turnstile yarn. So I, I'm, I like the colorways in this, too. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I might make with this. Um, this was awesome to knit and crochet with. Like I said, if you're a tight crocheter, you want to be sure to remember this has a lot of stretch to it. So if you crochet too tightly with it, it's going to draw itself up because of the stretch. There's all that nylon in it. Um, and I do recommend using wooden needles. Now, I don't have a problem with the metal crochet hook. But the knitting with it, I did. I, did, I needed the, the bamboo needles or wood needles. Okay. So then we have the Twisted Comfy Cotton Blend. I really like this yarn. I just like those bumps in it. There's something about the texture of the yarn I really like. It has a nice feel to it. I'll definitely be making some dishcloths and or possibly another market bag out of this. So um, I really like this yarn. Okay, it is It crochets and knits like a cotton does. Like I said, with the knitting... You want to make sure you go account for the bumps when you put that first cast on um, to make sure you can get your stitches through and um, you, you should be fine. Uh, that's the only trouble I had with it um, personally. Uh, softball. Mm, it's just okay for me. Uh, it's not 
that's odd. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's not horrible, but it like I said, it has some tooth to it. I wasn't expecting out of a 100% polyester yarn. It's just not that soft compared to some others. Um, I do like this color. Uh, knitting with it, I didn't like. I didn't like the way it turned out. Um, I had troubles with my needles getting hung up in the little thread that runs through there. Um, crochet was okay. Uh, I probably would make a hat or a scarf out of it, but I don't see myself buying this one again at all. Um, cobblestone. I did like it. I just like the twist of the yarn, the mottled effect. Um, it was nice to crochet with. Uh, it was nice to knit with. Um, it's just not a super soft yarn again. It's, it's a fairly sturdy acrylic, I would say. Because it does not say premium ac acrylic on the side. It just says acrylic. Um, so I don't know. Eh, you could possibly make a garment or something out of it. I don't know what I would make with this, honestly. Because it's not horrible against my face or neck. It's not itchy or anything. It's just... I can't see mis myself. I can't see myself making a garment out of this, honestly. Because I don't think I would enjoy wearing it. Um, maybe a hat or a scarf, something like that. So that is my final review. Tell me what you think down below. I'd love to hear what y'all think about these yarns. If you, have y'all tried these yarns? Are we all wanting to try these yarns and thinking about it? So I will be making a project with each of these yarns. I still have some from my reviews from last year that I need to make projects with, but I did make projects with them because I want to work through the whole skein and see how it works up in a project, not just in the swatches. Um, swatches give me a better idea of, do I want to change my hook or needle size? Um, I will decide if I'm going to do a knit or crochet project with each one. All right, y'all. <laughs> I just, my phone just flipped off the stand. I'm going to have to get me a new, <laughs> a new holder because I think that one's just worn out and it doesn't want to stay right anymore for some reason. Anyway, I will eventually do projects with these and then I will come back and say, you know, was there a lot of knots in the skein? Uh, did it change? You know, because some, some, I'm going to hold this because it's just going to come out again. Some uh, yarns are completely different on the interior than they are on the exterior. I don't know if y'all have ever noticed that. So, I will do uh, individual projects with them and come back with it. And I still have some I've got to do from last year. So those will be forthcoming. There are some yarns that I completely like. And I will buy more skeins to make a bigger project with. So I don't think I'll be doing that with any of these particular ones. But, oh my gosh. All right. I think that's going to be it because of my camera. <laughs> Bye, Gabriel's having issues. So, I will uh, talk to y'all later, and I hope y'all have a life lived creatively. Bye. Okay, I had to add at the end because I forgot to. This was not sponsored by Lion Brand. Um, I am a Lion Brand affiliate, so any links below will be affiliate links, which means that I just get a small percentage if you decide to click on that link and carry on and buy something. Otherwise, I don't get anything. <laughs> so, but. Uh, Lion Brand did not sponsor this. I bought all this yarn myself. It is um, something I just wanted to do to try out some yarns and uh, let y'all know what I thought about them. So sometimes you like to know things like that. So, all right.